There's the winners, Lendl 24 to 9, backcourt 63% for Lendl 27 for McEnroe. Oh! That's to be expected from the back of the court. shirt that uh, McEnroe is sporting. I, I, don't, I haven't seen that, that design before. It's a new part of the line, I believe, the Nike line that's just been released. Yeah, they usually come out around the time of the US Open. One that uh, Lendl's using has been around for a while. All that patchwork on the back, that's his initials. It took a people a long, long time to work that out. It's pretty colourful, but it's I-L on the back of that shirt. Oh, boy, he's got that one cooking. The one down the middle of the court, his fifth ace on the day. 30-15. Oh! Is not out of it, but he does have to make a move on Lendl's serve pretty soon because he's had trouble winning his own. Oh. Unbelievable! That is great stuff. Lendl said something as, as we see him charge and take take such quick steps to this return of McInerney. He said, "I finally feel after the match against Agus." He said, "I finally feel like I'm starting to float around the court." And to keep up with that kind of shot, you've got to be moving well. Got it. So on the line, so McEnroe is ahead, or I should say Lendl is, by three games to two and one set to love. This is kind of interesting, isn't it? I mean, these two have played so many times, and yet it seems that either one or the other is much more on on the day. They haven't had to take it to that final set too many times in 30, 30 tries. And it sure looks as though Lendl could straight set McEnroe today. It's not one of those fire-breathing, let it all hang out encounters this yet anyway. It may end up being that. It's been so one-sided. Lendl's playing so well. McEnroe serving 2-3, second set. Oh. That's it, but if you get a match like this, a lot of people say, no, it wasn't a very good tennis match, you know, one and two or something, but this still could work out to be a long one. But even in those circumstances, sometimes it's just a perfect match played by one guy that is really hot that day. It's not like you could, if you're in McEnroe's shoes, you go off and say, well, I really played badly today, because he hasn't. Got him. Second serve ace down the middle. Hey, they're still on serve. Not much between these two in this set. McEnroe is serving has certainly picked up. In this one, he decides to take it right down the middle. <laughs> it's McEnroe's only ace of the day that comes on a second serve. Dirty love. McEnroe's trying to get it into the Lendl body, and it's just not, he's just not jamming him enough. He gives Lendl a little bit too much time, and he can step away from himself and really tag it. That, to Mary, is why he has to hit that first serve with everything he's got, even if he misses a few more. He kind of slid that one in, didn't he? A little more spin on it. See, you haven't seen that many flubs on the swing from Lindell today. Like that one.
Yeah. Crowd love this one and it keeps McEnroe in this second set. Lendl just tees off that one straight at McEnroe. Good firm wrist. Always had great hands on the volley, McEnroe. But Lendl's really sending the message that you better hit those volleys very crisply or I'm going to get them back. Three games all. Second set. And then it's not. McEnroe has one ace. That's his. That's Lendl's sixth. Seven Grand Slam titles, Lendl, the 84 French, and then he won it in 86, 87 again, and won the US Open and Australia. Yeah. And won the Australian once, that was this year, of course, in January. One of the things he wanted to do now, he says, all that's left for him in tennis is to win Wimbledon. So we mentioned earlier that he's talking about passing up the French championships, going down to Australia to practice on grass in preparation for Wimbledon. That may or may not happen. I have the feeling Tony Roach is going to try to talk him out of it. Yeah, but Lendl says he's 99% sure he'll do it. Yeah. It's how much he wants Wimbledon. McEnroe, of course, has won three Wimbledon four years ago, but he's never won the Australian and he's never won the French. Came awfully close against Lendl in 84, didn't he? Two sets to love and chances for a break in the third. Good in bocce and horseshoes. Close. <laughs> Game point. Closes out McEnroe. In that game, it's four games to three and one set to love for the world's number one. You're watching the Players International Canadian Open Tennis Championships. Ivan Lendl in the final against John McEnroe when the first set easily is ahead in the second. No serve breaks yet in the second on Cliff Drysdale, along with Fred Stolle and Mary Carrillo in the semi finals yesterday. Two interesting matches. John McEnroe beating Jay Berger. Listless start in that match, but he won it in three sets, repeating what he did to Jay Berger on exactly a week ago in Indianapolis. Ivan Lendl beat Andre Agassi in a super final set, 6-4. That's just pace of shot wins that Just blistering return off the forehead <laughs> McEnroe looking for the one down the line on that occasion he got it out wide <laughs> Unbelievable angle created by Lendl. And there was one crucial point early stages of that first set when McEnroe had a chance to break Lendl back. Second game of the match, he didn't convert. Here is a critical stage for McEnroe's second set. If he doesn't win this game and he's down love 30, Lendl will serve for the match and the title. Look at that. That was so well struck, that's his seventh clean, cold winner. McEnroe didn't even flinch. He didn't even make a move to cover that return at the net. It's amazing, though, that that's the, the tactics that he uses. He goes out, and, uh, of course, if it's working and he's on the return, that's what happens. Okay, if Lindell wins either one of the next three points, he'll serve for 100 
and $43,000. The Canadian Open champion for the sixth time. Tough to jam, Wendell, today. That one did. So few have really bothered him at all. White, please. Sports a game of inches. This one was two inches wide. Third break point opportunity for Lindell. He didn't like the call, but nevertheless, uh, uh, Lendl was all over the return. Really smacked it, in fact. It's Bruno Rabot. But you've got to have a vice-like wrist to handle this volley. Look, McEnroe there, as firm as you could ever be on that because that return of serve was blistered off the forehand side from Yvonne Lendl. Back to Deuce. somebody up here near where we are uh, typing through this window uh, that's a guess I didn't I didn't hear clearly maybe you heard it better than I did nevertheless it is another break point for Lindell this is his fourth of the game you know, it's, it's not it's not like McEnroe hasn't been serving trouble all week long and remember Jay Berger had 20 break chances against McEnroe served yesterday but he only was able to convert four times Lindell doesn't need as many chances to break Astonished, cannot believe it.